हरे कृष्णा अब भगवदगीता परस्पेक्टिव ऑन द रायट्स इन फ्रांस recently for several days france has been hit by severe and sustained riot that were triggered by the alleged excessive violence toward a arabic immigrant which led to his death and the subsequent retaliatory attacks by especially teenagers immigrant the estimated loss is amounting to almost 1 billion dollars and overall the french republic was paralyzed for several days riots have become riots that disrupt the law and order situation that destroy iconic buildings that bring the government to its knees have be- are becoming an increasing feature of contemporary polity while each riot may have its own specific cause what would be the bhagavad gita perspective on such rioting in general with a specific focus on what happened in france i'll talk about the bhagavad gita perspective in terms of four d's the first d is discrimination we humans innately believe that we should be treated fairly and one part of fair treatment is equal treatment so whenever there is a feeling that there is discrimination against someone individually or some group be it ethnic religious racial regional collectively that discrimination whether it is factual discrimination or whether it is perceived discrimination that discrimination uh, triggers a deep sense of indignance within us and that indignance can over time blow into outrage so every, the bhagavad gita has one of its central teachings the essential spiritual equality of everyone that means that everyone at their core is a spiritual being is an atma is essentially similar in 632 the gita states that atma upamyena sarvatra samam pashyati yo arjuna sukham va yadi va dukham sayogi paramo mataha the evolved yogic vision is to see that everyone is equal now in what way equal at a spiritual level but also in their aspirations for happiness and in in their apprehensions their fears about distress so this root one of the root causes of violent uprisings be they riot or they be mutinies or revolution is discrimination and that needs to be addressed and at a fundamental level individually and socially the more the spiritual dignity of every individual is respected the act will act as one pacificatory measure having said that there are other aspects to be considered let's so let's go to the second b that is discipline individually and socially for any kind of order to be there in society for society to function in a effective way there has to be discipline dharma samsthapanarthaya sambhavami yuge yuge that discipline needs to be maintained and one one well the, the word dharma has many different meaning it broadly connotes an order which involves some level of discipline so while on one side the government and the law enforcement need to be disciplined in their use of force especially violent force so that that violence is not driven by their biases there needs to be systematic training of 
the law enforcement forces and support sufficient support given to them through the such training by which they are disciplined at the same time those who are protesting also need to be disciplined and while protest are a individual right but violence especially a violence against property that is not one's own that has to be dealt with firmly the more undisciplined behavior is entertained leave alone encouraged the worse the consequences not just in society but even the individual in particular because they are giving into their lower impulses and they will be making their own life dark while also making society's life unsafe so just because we have been hurt does not give us a right to hurt anyone and everyone indiscriminate violence even in the face of indignation is something which has to be curbed the bhagavad gita itself is depict is spoken on an occasion when there was legitimate reason for legitimate use of force by the law enforcers by the martial guardians of society who one among whom the leaders was arjuna and yet there was serious philosophical deliberation there was discipline enough to do the deliberation whether violence is appropriate or not so uh, indiscriminate violence needs to be firmly stopped and discipline needs to be enforced and that brings us to the third d that is demarcation that while there is in principle the oneness of all living beings in spirit at a spiritual level at a practical level not everybody acts with equal harmony with their own spirituality and therefore society requires demarcations whether they be ethical cultural geographical legal but these demarcations are required so that social order and integration within like minded people can be maintained there is an excessive emphasis on dissolution of borders and indiscriminate immigration being allowed and this is seen as a sign of compassion but is it really when it suits the powers that be or when very survival is seen to be at stake then the importance of borders is suddenly discovered and it's almost inflexibly imposed as it happened in the covid pandemic so what about compassion at that time different people the bhagavad gita explains are at different levels in their evolution of consciousness the gita analyzes this in terms of three modes sattva rajas and tamas goodness or clarity rajas energy or hyperactivity and tamas darkness or destruction so not all people function at the same level and unless there's demarcation for example between people who are ready to honor the law and who are abide by the law and people who want to flout and defy the law unless there is some amount of demarcation between them society will be giving free rein to those with dest- uh, destructive intent and especially in this case when immigration is encouraged facilitated even aided and indiscriminate in, uh, immigration even in terms of no regard to the due legal process then often the kind of people who come in are not always the people who are either seeking a better life in terms of themselves improving their character and their contribution to society but often when people come to especially from a state where there's a lot of political violence and social disorder to states that are highly welfare oriented where there are lots of facilities given and often that attracts people 
who are in the mode of ignorance who are not ready to play their part in contributing to society while demanding more than their part and who are quite prone to violence when their demands are not met so demark this does not mean that immigration itself is a bad thing not at all and that is something which when it is done with regards to demarcation with due process being followed then yes there can be multicultural thought which can lead to greater integration but integration is possible for only among people who wish to be integrated for people who are not grateful for the facilities that they are being provided for people who are resentful only for what they have not been provided for people who are uh, because who are largely in the mode of ignorance and who resort to violence having an open border policy for them is going to have serious consequences so demarcation of boundaries is vital the bhagavad gita demarcates this in terms of psychological categories in terms of psychological char- characteristics as i said of goodness passion and ignorance and forgiveness for indiscretions transgressions by people who are basically good so we could say there are people with goodness people with weakness and people with wickedness and in the, uh, forgiveness for people with goodness is good forgiveness for people who do some indiscretions weakness well some some warning and some disciplinary action and forgiveness that is kindness but forgiveness for people with wickedness that is um, foolishness that is that will only court self destruction and that brings me to the last d that is destruction that etam drushti mavashtabha nashta atmano alpa buddhaya prabhavanti ugra karmana kshayaya jagato hitaha the gita says that those who do not respect order even if they profess to belong to some religion but if their their intent is simply to impose their will on the state and courting such people will eventually lead to destruction and that kind of destruction is what we are witnessing today uh, so if this destruction is to be avoided just targeting uh blaming a particular community or blaming a particular ideology or just uh, look blaming that this is a problem of this particular country alone uh, that is a relatively short sighted vision it is a mentality that is being fostered where a victim is automatically assumed to be virtuous and r- r- the victim's outrage is considered to be righteous this is a left wing ideology gone to extreme lengths and where those in power are automatically assumed to be guilty this is not saying that they are not guilty but when society is governed by such assumptions then it courts destruction violent destruction and we need to raise our consciousness individually collectively across ethnicity across other such external boundaries and as our consciousness becomes more and more evolved then all these problems can be resolved harmoniously discrimination can be avoided discipline can be maintained without the need for inordinate force demarcation can be done in a way that is seen as reasonable and not discriminatory and destruction can be preempted and prevented thank you hare krishna